let's continue working on the wagon scene. Uh, last time I made the shovel, and uh, right now I'm going to work on this horseshoe. And I figure we'll have maybe a couple of horseshoes uh, hanging on the wagon. All right, so let's do this. Let's start a new collection. Horseshoe. And hide everything else. I'm going to look down from the top and I'm going to go Shift A and I'm going to bring in that horseshoe background image. There it is right there. All right, so I'll link to that. And uh, there it is. So it's a bit of a weird shape. Um, it's not, uh, well, it's just a bit of a weird shape. I'm going to make it so it can't be selected here that one there and the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to bring in a curve uh, circle and I'm going to scale it so that we can get the edges now let's see I may actually take this move it like that try that And it's going to come in here and try to match just the outside. And, and sort of approximate that shape. And that's okay, it's just a small prop, so. Okay, so with that done, I'm now going to go Shift A and bring in a plane. I'm going to go to Edit Mode. Bring this down here and scale it to its kind of the thickness of that. We're gonna have to adjust that anyhow. All right, and then I'm gonna bring it down so it's sort of central on this curve. Let me make, make it a little bit small. Well, actually, no, I'll do it like that. Okay. Uh, I'm just gonna apply rotation and scale. Let's add an array in the X. I'm going to click Merge. It's going to bring the count up a bunch. Now, with this, I believe I'm going to need to rotate this X 90. And then we're going to add a curve modifier. Experiment and there it is. Okay, I'm gonna look down from the top. I'm gonna rotate this like this, and I'm gonna go set the origin to the 3D cursor again. I'll scale it a little bit like this. GZ, I can get it to go like that. I don't think the Y actually does anything here in this case. All right, so I can do that and then I can manipulate these by hand. That's pretty close to what I would want uh, for this, I think. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply both of those. Let's just bring this down and set the origin to geometry. Let's go back in here and hide that background image. So here's what I've got. Let's go into edit mode. And I'm going to bring in a couple of edge loops. One out there and one in here. I'm going to put one down in the middle. And let's try in uh, face selection. One, two, three, four, five 
for holes, so spaces for holes. I hit I to inset, we'll pull them in, right click, loop tools, circle, and then I'm going to switch over here to individual origins, scale them down nice and small, and I'm going to delete those faces. Let's go back to median point, select this. Actually, before I do that, maybe we'll uh, we'll work on uh, getting this a little bit better. So let's go into wireframe. And now, I think what I'll do, let's see. How about if we take both of these and just pull it up in the Y? And then in a little bit in the X. No, no, I have to be a scale up. A scale this in the X, a little bit like this. Follow the curve roughly. And then what I'll do, I might just do this by hand. suppose at this point I could you know you could you could take this and you could adjust it to match the curve a bit more I won't worry about that right yet okay so that's what I have let's go ahead and extrude this out and give it some thickness put edge loops in each of these. Let's try a subdivision surface. Let's look at the general part. That's looking okay. Alright, let's look at the front here now. Bring an edge loop up close to there to there. We could try one up and down and see how it looks like. I think that looks okay. Let's see if I can do this other part. Let's see if I just bring an edge loop here and here. No, what did I hit? Those are even. So I could try GG for edge slide. Bring it down. And GG for edge slide. They don't have to be exactly the same. Let's go to top view and uh, what are we? Face selection. And we'll just get these ones. Well, no, I think we're going to need the front ones too. See how well this works if I just want to extrude it up a little bit. And put one more edge loop there like that. We'll see. Mm, I don't really like that very much. We 
could do something along that line then. Okay. Alright, in that case, I will turn that off and uh, hide that and just tweak it a little bit more. And I guess I'll just go for try to get it relatively straight across. Relatively. It's going to be quite small. Let's see what that looks like with respect to the uh, wagon. All right, let's take this and scale it way down. Let's. Uh, Rotate X90 and rotate Z90. Ah, I have to turn that around. Huh? Yes. Let's rotate. Oh. One thing I know is my screencast keys again aren't working. I hate that. I'm looking for decent, decent script, and I can't find one that I like. I haven't looked that hard, but so if you know of a really good screencast keys that's dependable and it looks good, it's not too imposing, taking up a lot of screen space. Please let me know. Uh, yeah, like something like that, eh? I think that's convincible that it's it. So I'm going to get rid of that curve. And uh, I'm going to get rid of the background image. And I've just got the horseshoe itself. And I think I'm going to hang it just on a nail. And I'm not saying it's going to go there. It could go, could go down here. And it still may be too big. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's do this. Anyhow, for now. Let's um, select maybe there. Shift S. Cursor selected. I wonder if I could just use the hot Shift D. P. If I could just use that to start making a nail. probably didn't need anything too much. Let's just come in like this. And let's grid fill. So we have uh, what is it? All ten. All right. Well, yeah, that's better. No, I don't need anything on the end. Bend that out, but let's select something else. Or get this cursor out of there. Yeah, that, yeah. I do want a big nail. I might make the head a little bit longer, though.
going to bring the 3D cursor there. And I'm going to switch to 3D cursor. I'm going to rotate Y. I'm just going to do it like that. We can just leave them for now as props and see what we decide to do with them. Now, there we go. Scene is getting bigger. More items. Cool. All right, let's see what comes next.